Hello, and welcome to my presentation on Mary Breckenridge and the Frontier Nursing Service. It seems fitting to begin this presentation with a quote from Miss Mary Breckenridge herself. Maternity is the young woman's battlefield. It is more dangerous, more painful, more mutilating than war. In order to understand Mary Breckenridge's work, we must start first with her early life. Mary Breckenridge was born on February 17, 1881, in Memphis, Tennessee, to one of the most wealthy and influential families of the time. She was the granddaughter of John C. Breckenridge, who was the vice president to James Buchanan. She was also the daughter of an Arkansas representative and minister to Russia, Mr. Clifton Breckenridge. As a child, she attended several boarding schools abroad in different European countries, but became a registered nurse in 1910 at the St. Luke's Hospital in New York. After losing both of her children at a young age due to different diseases, she began helping refugees in France during World War I, where she was first introduced to the certified practice of midwifery. The service of midwifery was not available in the United States at this time. She earned her certificate of midwifery from the British Hospital for Mothers and Babies in London in 1923. But before returning to the U.S., she studied different models of rural health care in isolated areas such as the Highlands of Scotland and the British Isles. She also studied public health nursing at Columbia University in New York. Following her public nurse studies at Columbia, Breckenridge was alarmed by the lack of health care in rural eastern Kentucky areas near the Appalachian Mountains. Breckenridge found that there were almost no physicians in the area and the winding mountain roads and creeks that led to log cabins could only be accessed on horseback. So, she began on horseback surveying the health care needs of families in three counties deep in rural Appalachia. Her results were terrifying. She sh these results showed a severe lack of prenatal care and that midwives were typically granny women. These granny women were taught only by tradition and other elder women in the community and had little or no medical training at all. It was estimated that on average in the early 1900s in the U.S., 800 out of every 100,000 live births resulted in a maternal death. 100 out of 100,000 children were estimated to have died before their first birthday. And as alarming as these rates may seem to us now, the national infant mortality rate was estimated to be at least one and a half times higher in the Appalachian region that Mary Breckenridge was targeting. Another poignant quote from Mary Breckenridge reads, We have lost more women in childbirth in the history of our nation than men in battle. After careful surveying and planning, in 1925, Mary Breckenridge established the Frontier Nursing Service in Hyden, Kentucky, using her own funding. The FNS began with Breckenridge and only a few other brave nurses who volunteered to ride daily into the mountains of their designated areas in order to serve these families. The nurses carried everything they could need in saddlebags and wore tall riding boots with pants, which was quite different from the standard nursing attire that was seen in the rest of the world. This map of Kentucky shows the three counties originally served by the FNS. These counties included Leslie County, Alsley County, and Knott County. Mary Breckenridge and the other nurses of the FNS had been serving the rural communities of Appalachia for over six years before the rest of the country even knew what was going on. In 1931, Mary Breckenridge's cousin, by the name of Marvin Breckenridge, 
produced the silent film The Forgotten Frontier. This film brought the work of the FNS to the center stage of the rest of the country. They brought with it images of courageous nurses galloping throughout the Appalachian Mountains on horseback. This film helped to capture the public's attention and increase awareness and support for the FNS and drew in almost $6 million in donations and funding. The Frontier Nursing Service was unique in nature, as was the tales of folklore that it inspired in the area. Word of the legendary nurses on horseback galloping through the Appalachian Mountains led to a very unique piece of folklore in this area. The children of this region of eastern Kentucky knew that it was not the stork who came and delivered babies, but rather that it was nurses who brought them in their saddlebags. This graphic displays important events and dates in the early development of the Frontier Nursing Service. The impact of the Frontier Nursing Service was one of such importance that it could not be confined only to its area of origin in eastern Kentucky. The FNS became one of the first models of rural health care in the United States that was later implemented across the world. In its first 50 years of service, the FNS was able to deliver 17,053 babies with only 11 maternal deaths, with a death rate of less than 6%. In addition to its midwifery services, the FNS was able to inoculate thousands of residents against different infectious diseases. The FNS was able to decrease infant mortality rates, maternal mortality rates, and improve health care access in all three of the rural counties in eastern Kentucky in which it served. The Frontier Nursing Service still exists in eastern Kentucky today with several rural health clinics, a hospital in Hyden, and a home health agency. The Frontier Nursing School of Midwifery is now known collectively as the Frontier Nursing University. The university has since expanded since its creation and specializes in nurse midwifery programs that train nurses in many of the same skills possessed by the first Frontier Nursing Service nurses. This development of the university helps to fulfill the need of midwives that still exist in the rural populations of the area. The legacy of Mary Breckenridge and her impact on rural health care in the United States is unparalleled. She continued to direct the Frontier Nursing Service until her death in 1965. She is credited with introducing the practice of midwifery to the United States and her model for rural health care has been studied and appraised around the world. In addition to this, she brought attention to the excruciating struggle that women face during pregnancy and childbirth. She also brought attention to the importance of prenatal care, which was a new concept at that time. In 1982, she was inducted into the American Nurses Association Hall of Fame. She was also honored with a limited edition stamp by the U.S. government. This final quote from Miss Breckenridge herself sums up the beacon of hope that the Frontier Nursing Service nurses were to the young women who were facing their greatest battlefields alone in the Appalachian Mountains. Of on the lonely farmstead, the young mother faces her agony that the hope of her nation may come into life. For her, we need the Frontier Nurses, new pioneers on old frontiers. Thank you.